Hi, JNM here with a new Blender 3.1 video in which I'm going to show you how to use cloth simulation with the pinned vertex group. Here you can see the result, a baked simulation with collisions and now we'll show you how to create it. Ok, so let's get started. This is a simple scene in Blender 3.1. We have a table, a wall and to all these objects I added a collision on the physics tab. And I'll go ahead and add a simple plane to create the curtain. Press Shift and A, go to Mesh and select Plane. Here it is, now I want to rotate it 90 degrees. For this I use the Rotate tool, drag the green circle to rotate it around the Y axis with the Ctrl key pressed so that it can rotate in 5 degree steps. Then I use the Move tool to move it a bit downwards so that it aligns here with the kind of holder object. And finally I scale it up to the left and the right using the scale tool. Ok, nice. Then I go to edit mode. Be sure that you have edge selection enabled here in the toolbar. And then I use again the move tool to move this edge almost to the floor. Ok, for we scaled this object also in object mode, we have to apply the scale, so you press Ctrl and A and choose Scale. Then in the Apply panel, you can apply the rotation as well. Ok, the next thing is to increase the resolution of the geometry and to reset the pivot point. In object mode, I select this object and press H to hide it, so that we can see the plane fully. Then I change to Edit mode and select this edge. The edge is now the active element and I press F3 and set the 3D cursor to this location. So we search for Cursor to Active. To reset the pivot point to the cursor location, I have to go to Object Mode first and again I press F3 and search for Set Origin and select Origin to 3D Cursor. Alright, and with this we can rotate the object now around this pivot point. like that. Ok, the next step is to increase the resolution because at the moment we just have a plane which consists of one face. So in edit mode I switch to face selection, then I right click and choose subdivide. The number of cuts are set to 64, that should be enough. And now we can go ahead and add the physics. With the plane selected in object mode, I add cloth on the physics tab. And the only thing that I change is here on the collisions tab. I set the quality to 5 of the collision. And I also enable the self collision. Alright, and when you press the space bar now, you can see the simulation in action and also the collisions. But of course the plane is not pinned to the holder. But that's pretty simple to do. I go to object mode and hide the holder object by pressing the H key so that we can see the plane fully. Then I go to edit mode and enable edge selection again in the toolbar. And then I double click this edge loop here to select it. Then I go to the data properties panel add a new vertex group and rename it, for example to Pinned Plane. Then I press Assign and the selected edge is now added to the vertex group. Ok, then I go back to Object Mode and the Physics tab. And in the Shape section, I add the vertex group to the Pin Group property. Ok, and when I press Space now and play the simulation again, we can see the desired result. It looks a bit edgy, so I set the shading to smooth. Right click and select it. But still we can increase the resolution of the geometry a bit. So go to the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier. And now play it again and it looks pretty nice.
The simulation is created while we are playing it. It is not baked and therefore it is quite slow. But you can bake the simulation which means it is moved to a cache. You find this option on the physics panel. Here it is on the cache tab. To bake the simulation you just press the bake button. Very simple. It takes some time so I speed up the video here. And after the baking, the simulation can be played in real time. So guys, this is what I wanted to show you. I really hope you like it. If you do, then please don't forget to subscribe to JNM if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And if you have any questions regarding the video, then please add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.